Hi guys, so we are back again with another Webtoon Artist Rambles corner moment video whatever you want to call it today for today's comparison video we are going to talk about the basic tools that I use when I why am I talking like this to make it more dramatic when I want to slice my webtoons manually in a program you of course can make it very very like a lot easier for yourself just to go to you go to use <laughs> Just to use Crappie's website, I covered that in another video, but today we are not talking about that. We're talking about doing things difficult and tedious and 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 doing it, doing things manually. So we are going to go over the basic tools that I'd like to use as a webtoon artist for cropping my webtoon panels. So the first tool that I like to use, we're going to compare Clip Studio Paint to Metamon Paint for the desktop computer. Metabon Paint is a free app. Clip Studio Paint has a free trial. <laughs> but they're they're both desktop computer programs that you can use. They also have apps. I'm more so well versed with Metabon's app for the iPad, but I'm trying to get used to Metabon's computer desktop app. However, I said that. Anyways, focus. So the basic tool that I like to use when I'm cropping my webtoon panels, let's go ahead and just like, just do a mock panel so you guys are like, well, what are you talking about? So let's just, hold on. I don't like how thin those lines are. I like chunky lines. Big old fat chunky lines, like seven inches. Millimeters? I don't know what that is. Oops. I don't like how that looks. Hold on. Let me click my, boom, there we go. And let's just just for visualization purposes pretend this is a webtoon okay you know what i got a better idea let me just <laughs> i mean i'm smart you guys let me just that's not it i am smart it's just that wasn't the right image this one there we go let me actually use don't say let me actually use an actual thing of my webtoon instead of just you know so here is just a fully exported webtoon now of course when I want to upload this onto webtoon I'm going to have to make sure it's within the 800 by 1280 file size format and of course this one is 800 the width is correct but the height is way too high so one of the features or tools that I usually use when I'm cropping my webtoon is I like to use the crop feature and of course it's not highlighted because I didn't select it so not the crop feature the change canvas size feature what am I talking about <laughs> so one of the reference points I like to use I already covered this in another video is I like to use this so I don't have to manually move stuff around and boom so basically what I'm looking for within other programs can I crop my images that's all I'm looking for. Does it have a, an ability to crop things? And I would love if Metabank also had the ability for me to crop things down using like precision with pixels. So, you know, I can edit pixels how I did this one. If it doesn't have that, that's fine. As long as I can add my, I have a webtoon. I Yes, I do have a webtoon. I have this panel guide that I use to, so I know, how to size my panels, where to cut my panels, and where to place my panels, all that jazz. I cover that in another video. So even if I can't manipulate my crop feature as precise as I can this, it's okay. As long as it has a crop feature, I can just put my thumb, my panel guide right up in there and crop it down. So that's just, that's like my, the, my number one tool. Does it, can I crop with this program? Most programs have the crop feature, but just for viewers, viewage, YouTube purposes, let's go ahead and see if Metabong has it. I don't know. We're going to wing it. Let me go ahead and create a new file. No, we're going to open a file. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. We got our file open. Now, let's say I did this whole file in, in Metabong. Can I? It has a selection tool. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. It looks like in the bottom part of the screen, as you can see, it lets me 
it tells me the full height right there. Okay. Why is that like that though? That doesn't look. Let's not focus on that. Anyways, that's good to know. It does let me know. Oh no, that's not nothing. That I thought it was. I thought it was telling me like how long it was, but it looks like it's totally telling me something else. That I don't know what it's saying. So let's. Oh, it has a snap to grid feature. Ooh, hold on. Okay, so first let me just see if it has to change canvas size. And can I? It doesn't have the reference. Does it have the reference points? Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. It might have the reference points. Okay. Change canvas size. This might be like the equivalent to Clip Studio Paint's reference points. Let's do top center. Let's see what that does. And then, oh, hold on. This is an 800 by, let me resize it first. No, I pulled up the wrong image. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're back. Now, here's my image. Let's click the canvas size. Now this looks like the reference points. If this is what I think it is, and this is like this reference points, like how it was in Clip Studio Paint, I'm, 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 I'm going to just fangirl, hold on. I'm going to click top center like I did before. We're going to change it to one to 1,200 because you know to upload on Webtoons it needs to be 800, it needs to be either less than or exactly at 800 by 1280. So we're gonna make it 800 by 1200. Okay, let's see what happens. We're gonna click it. <gasps> it does the same thing that Clip Studio Paint does. Hold on, hold on, let's reverse it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'm going to click the bottom center one. Oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting. Metabong to be able to have the same reference points that Clip Studio Paint has when it comes to cropping your canvas. It makes it so much easier. And the reason why I say easier is I don't have to like go in and you know move it around and and let me just let me let me let me I don't have to like manually move stuff around. Do it for me. <laughs> you know, I'm lazy. Do it for me. Like if I were Okay, no, no, don't do that. But you know, do it for me. Crop it for me. Exactly where I left off. Do all that for me. And using those reference points, it's just, oh my god. Metabong is free. It has a reference point so I can just crop stuff easily. And you know, Clips of You Paint also has that too. But oh my god, this is free and you can do the same thing. That's cool. I'm shocked. I'm shook. That's all I'm going to cover today because I'm just like, wow. <laughs> We're going to cover other tools that I use for manually slicing my image in Clip Studio Paint and then comparing that to other programs. But I have other videos that go into more detail on how I crop my webtoon manually and then how you can just use cropping to do it. But I am shocked. I, I am shocked. That's awesome. That you don't know how much time it takes. <laughs> To have to manually go in and just and crop every single image and then you know by the time you're done drawing every single panel It's like I'm tired of looking at these panels. So I just I I'm shocked. I Love that Metabong has that. I love it. I love that. I love Clip Studio Paint. Don't get me wrong But I love Mod Modabong Metabong for this feature. I love that All right, let me stop. This is I'm gonna come back with another video later on. Make sure you're subscribed to another webtoon, to another webtoon, so that you can see or watch or enjoy my next webtoon artist rambles video. I'm having some fun comparing this stuff. This is fun. Y'all like this? I like this. So you know, as long as we happy over here, I'm happy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something cool. <laughs> it wasn't just me just freaking out over the smallest thing. It's not small to me. But you know, it might it might be insignificant to you guys, because I don't know. 
either way irregardless i hope you guys come back for, to watch another video make sure you're subscribed don't forget to read my webtoon on my website at the webtoon is called catch you fight me love me if you love pettiness and fake marriage trope cliches you might love this video video wow you might love this webtoon okay that's it i gotta go i'm 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 having fun this is exciting well i'll see you talk to you guys again in the next video bye